Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today I'm sharing with you three Trash to Treasure projects. Two are three stores makeover and one is a true Trash to Treasure. I had picked up these two candelabras and the funny thing is one was priced at $3.99 and one was $1.99. They're exactly the same so I ended up getting both of them for $1.99. I will also going to be using some chalk paint. I am using graphite by Annie Sloan and also some um, nautical rope and hot glue. I love using any Sloan paint for painting my furniture so this is the stuff that I have on hand and I will be using this paintbrush that had come from Dollar Tree, Dollarama. So first thing that I'm going to be doing is painting half of the, those candelabras, um, well more, more like three quarters of them with the uh, graphite paint. And I also would like to mention that this video is part of a hop, my monthly hop that I am hosting. And today I have so many very talented ladies joining me. And for you to check out the hop, you will have to click the link in the description box for the next video to hop onto. And then that person will have your next video to hop onto. And then eventually you will make a full circle and hop on over over back to me so make sure you click on that link so you don't miss out the next creator because I am sure there's going to be tons of different trash to treasure inspirations this uh, candelabras did need two coats so I finished one and then once the one was dried I applied the next one and once that was all done I just cleaned off any unnecessary ones that maybe leaked down the paint and then I proceeded in gluing the uh, rope right around the bottom of the candelabra. I think this gives it a farmer's look, farmhouse look, but also that uh, rustic coastal look as well uh, that I've been um, kind of creating here and there uh, over on my channel just to add to my summer decor. For the next candelabra I actually started the rope on the top and that seemed to have been a bit easier uh, to, to do than going up the candelabra. I absolutely love the way this turned out once I was finished with both of them. For my next project, I had this milk jug that had quite the design on it. It was very, very farmhouse, uh, but I decided to paint it. I started off by spray painting the body, and then I was going to paint the lid as well. I had picked this up also for $1.99 at a thrift store. And the spray paint that I will be using is Rust-Oleum Chalked Spray Paint in just, uh, I think it's called plain white, I think. If you, this is your first time stopping by my channel, I would love it if you considered subscribing, pressing the notification bell so you don't miss out any of my future uploads. I do these type of videos two to three times a week, so make sure that notification bell is on so you don't miss out the uploads. And for the lid, I will be using the graphite that I just used for the candlesticks. 
So I just want to mention that for the month of July and August, I will not be having these monthly hops. Uh, I might be returning with them in fall. I just have to figure out exactly how I want to structure them. However, on in August, I do I am hosting a challenge. So if you are a creator and would like to join me for my challenge, make sure you check out all the details in my community post under all the other challenges and. Um, open invites that I list, not just my own, but all my other friends here on YouTube as well. So now I will be adding some something from this stencil. I got this stencil at stockade.ca. I will leave the link down below for you to check it out. I have been buying quite a bit of craft supplies there. It is local to me, but you can uh, definitely order and have it shipped as well. And I'm just using a sponge uh, brush to dab it on. And that same graphite paint. And then I'm going to, um, at this point, um, I thought I was done, but I didn't love it. 100% so I ended up adding a little bit of graphite just to any raised edges on here or any imperfections that were left from the spray paint just to give it that aged um, rustic look and I think this this is exactly what this can needed and I blend it with a little bit of with a rag. For my last project, this one will be the Trash to Treasure makeover, and I had made this countdown a couple years back, but it got a little bit damaged. I'm not sure what that was on top of it that made it kind of go a little bit almost moldy, but it did wipe off pretty easy and just left a couple stains on it and then I'm going to uh, use a couple of Jenga blocks on the bottom for feet and then I'm going to use the nautical rope for handles and originally I was gonna go with the Annie Sloan original which is Annie Sloan white it's a bit of a creamy color but um, you'll see I end up changing my mind because um, I wasn't loving the way it looked and the way it was covering, so I ended up switching to graphite for the, just for the inside. I do paint the outside with the old white. I love it when I can reuse old items instead of throwing them into the garbage and making something beautiful so you can use it even longer. And I can't wait to see what all my other friends have created for this hop. Uh, there might be trash to treasures, just like this one, or thrift store flips, just like the one bef uh, two before. So make sure you hop on over to the next channel linked in the description box so you can hop to the next one and the next one and get all the ideas that you are looking for. So I do think that this uh, turned out much nicer than the white and uh, because the white wasn't completely dried the, the amount that I put on it kind of blended it in a little bit mixed it up and I loved the end result.
once it was dry I am going to add the handles to it and I'm just cutting the rope to size measuring it out and then I'm going to glue the ends into a bit of a circle just to give it a um, it's more of a decorative thing rather than serve any purpose now I wouldn't be lifting this up by these handles because they are simply there as a decoration So here it is, such a simple and yet beautiful makeover and I can't wait to use it in my decor. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please don't forget to subscribe if you're not. Make, uh, make sure you share it with your friends and don't forget to check out the video in the description box. So until next time, hope you guys have a wonderful day and thank you so much for watching.